Gary here today. Uh, I'm gonna get the Kubota out today and um, move around some of the um, brush that's been cut here on the farm. I think I've showed everybody my, my tractor before, but I'll turn around and show it to you again here. It's a L3560. I guess it's uh, about a year and a half old now. But I got the grapple on the front of it. It's just a, a cheap grapple, nothing special. I got some brush here I wanna move. Got a big burn pile down in the pit down here. I've been burning in. But that was a um, big uh, pine that was hanging over the building here. I got some new construction going on. So let's see what I can get moved. It was real cold this morning. It was um, about 15 degrees, I guess. It's warmed up good here now. The soil's soft and there's no ice. So this is actually going to be a cold, cold start on the Kubota. Really enjoyed this tractor. It's been a good tractor. No complaints for me. Other than the regen, don't really like that that much. I guess it's just something you got to put up with with new, new equipment. Let's see how she does here. Let's switch key on. Much I'm gonna be able to record. I am doing it with my cell phone. But I guess I'll give it a whirl here. Of course, this is the handle to lift the, the boom, pull back and forth for uh, up and down, and then go side to side for tilt. And then it's got a the button here for clamping. bit here it's kind of oil is cold of course a rocker pedal here I'll pull over this pile and see what I can grab on it guys I had to do the grading here for the uh, addition they uh, cut into a couple of pipes or something they claim they fixed it I don't see any water or anything leaking. I drove over my septic tanks right there. So hope nothing got busted there. And I call this a farm here, but actually everybody that's around me kind of dwarfs my land. And Big, big, big property owners around here. I can look right through the side and see where my, my front is. I don't know if y'all can see that or not. That's what I'm using to gauge by to scoop stuff up. And once I get it pushed, I can take it, rotate around like that. lift a little bit and then grab tilt back it's a pretty good load on there that that was a big big tree that looks like I got it really got more with this load than I thought I would be able to Clamping some more. And I found out it's best just to 
drag it backwards. That way you're not running over anything and pulling it out of the clamp. But I'm, I'm taking it down here. See, I did get a good, good bit on here. Also, when you're going backwards, you got a better judgment of where everything is. So you're not just dragging it over everything. I'm losing some of it. Tilt back some more. I think I lost a good piece of it. No, it's still with me. It just, just cracked and split some. Even, even without an attachment on this tractor, it still has got a good lift part in the front. I just feel like it's um, not as, not as, it's not lifting as much as I think it should be able to. But. I guess with the Kubota people, they just don't want you to get in and overload it. I'm running right at about 1600 RPMs. Taking it to down here has been a good burn area for me. It's it's down real low. Stick stuff in there and don't have to worry about it jumping up out of there. I guess it's easy to maintain it in, in the in the hole it's in. Got another pile over there of what I've been cutting also. And the lake is coming up really, really nice. It's still about four or five feet below full pull. Third time I've filled it up down here. This will be the third burn. Most of everything I put in here is just small stuff, so it, it burns quick. low in here it's just it's easy for me to get in here with a bucket on here and, and just keep shoving stuff up watching it burn all right open my clamps up forward pick up and back out and ready to go get another load got a few little things hanging on there oh pull in here anyway, just kind of knock the stuff around and knock it pieces off
get it in there it doesn't really look like that much of stuff but go and uh, got it on full throttle down on the floor get the cruise control right here it beeps now I'm, I got cruise on cruise doesn't work in reverse this was a limited tractor so I added the cruise control button wiring's all there and everything all you have to do is just add, add the button I think it was about $60 Plus with the, the Kubota, I got it in the turtle mode mode now. Um, this switch here on the dash, if you pull up and it goes into Rabbit. You can see they get you a travel speed. bucket and we'll start pushing all this dirt back down in there and working that hill out. Well it looks like I did lose one piece of, of it. Let's go back in and turtle. I just hit the pedal on the back and you can adjust that uh, sensitivity on it if you want to so it doesn't it, stop is quick Let's see it pick that right back up carry it on back over here with the pile What I like to do is get the main pile out and I come back and just kind of work this back into the rake it with the bucket, I mean the uh, gravel here. So I'm going to come on back down. Look there at the corner so you can see where your gravel is. Open it back up. back in for the, another bite in here. See what I got. Yeah, I've got a pretty good load again. Yeah, that, that tree was just all big, twisted up, branches everywhere. I hate losing the tree, but I didn't feel like it could uh, eventually fall on my building. I uh, sure didn't want that to happen. So I'm gonna sign off for right now until I get over here to a lot of the straight stuff. Show you how I do that.